Hey there, guys. How's it going? So great to see you. Welcome back to Breakfast All Day. I am Christy, and that is Alonzo. Next up for us is Marry Me, a romantic comedy that expects you to believe that Jennifer Lopez and Owen Wilson will fall in love with each other. Uh, yeah, this is very much a Valentine's Day bauble. If you, you have to, you have to kind of go with it. Uh, so yeah, Jennifer Lopez stars as Cat. She is an international music superstar. She's had a couple of unlucky in love uh, moments uh, at the altar, but this time she thinks it's going to be the real thing. She and this other very famous singer are going to. Uh, it's going to be the end of her tour. They're going to get married on stage at Madison Square Garden. Huge media event. Moments before it happens, she discovers that he has been cheating on her. So instead, she randomly picks a dude out of the audience and marries him instead. That dude is Owen Wilson. and He's a math teacher. He's divorced. He's a single dad. And he's like, what's going on? But, you know, he goes along with it to sort of, you know, help her save face. And then the two of them decide so that she doesn't look like a complete liberty gibbet, that they will get to know each other for a few months and as much, you know, in front of the public as much as possible and see how that goes. And so even though they come from different worlds and it's all very complicated and the paps are everywhere, can these two crazy kids find love and make it work? What do you think? <laughs> um, this is just fluff. Yes. This is total fluff and I want more for Jennifer Lopez than this. I feel this is a big step backward for Jennifer Lopez when you see what she did in Hustlers a few years back and that tapped into that thing that was so great about her back and out of sight. You know, the fact that she's got this, this strength and this spine and this chutzpah and here she's just playing a version of herself. I mean, it's very canny in terms of the very specific details about Kat Valdez's life. Like she's been married three times before and her last relationship ended in a very public way when the guy, the fiance cheated on her. Like all this stuff has happened and yet she still believes in love, believes in romance and the ads and the social media presence and the clothes and the dance moves and the songs are everything that you already see from Jennifer Lopez. Um, and I just feel like when she challenges herself to show more depth, to show more daring, it's so much more interesting. There's not a whole lot to this character beyond like the, the lip gloss and just the fame. I would argue that <laughs> it is hard to do fluff well. Okay. And that this movie does. Okay. Uh, I, you know, it, what my, my take on this has been like anything that you have to say against this movie, you're probably right. <laughs> but it is as a concoction, as a, as a, as a beautiful, airy, on the sofa for Valentine's Day concoction that is light and holds up to no scrutiny whatsoever. <laughs> I had a really good time with this. And I think you have to watch Marry Me the way you would watch like a 1940s comedy on TCM and sort of ignore, or, or actually a 30s comedy. This is the kind of comedy that you make during the depression, you know, where you just <laughs> want to watch glamorous people and, and you know, being glamorous and, and enjoying their like international wealth and, and whatnot and not ask too many questions. Because yeah, you can pick this thing apart easily and it, it, it almost invites you to. But I, this is one where I, I think if you go with it and just sort of accept uh, at its base level, this is going to be a, a fluffy ball of, of, of cotton candy, not much, but it's going to be, you know, her being charming and she and, and Owen Wilson, like having this lovely relationship and a, a sort of commoner's eye view of what JLo type fame would look like and what it's like to suddenly get sucked into that vortex. I think it's fun. I enjoyed it. <laughs> it's Notting Hill. We've it seen this done Hill. better. Sure. I mean, yes, absolutely. And 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 again, like I found myself occasionally going, you know, the paps would be much meaner and more aggressive, and 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 they were, yeah. you know, like they're they're uh, yeah. It, this doesn't hold up to any scrutiny. I grant you. <laughs> all of that okay. but she is so charming and the movie at least i think is committed to exploring the bit and we'll talk about this when we talk about uh, i want you back like it's one thing to have this sort of high concept setup but to have a movie that then unpacks it one piece at a time like what would that mean how would this work what would that look like i think this movie actually does get into some of that stuff in an interesting way and um you know it's based on a graphic novel of all things that's weird yeah um yeah so again i i this is not i i know i'm blowing my like you know <laughs> stuffy critic who hates everything credentials here but this movie charmed me and the charm was enough to get me through it 
I liked it just fine until they actually got together. Spoiler, <laughs> sorry, it's a romantic comedy. The, the fish out of water stuff is fun. And each of them kind of trying to stumble their way through the other one's world is kind of fun. Owen Wilson just showing up and being Owen Wilson, being like, wow, wow, wow. wow. I'm married to Jennifer Lopez. That's cool. <laughs> wow. um, and so he, and he's, you know, his, he's doing what he always does. He's doing that kind of like low key laconic shtick that he does. And he's got a way with a offhanded one liner here or there. Chloe Coleman is always good as his daughter. She was very good in big little lies and mm. my spy. She's a very um, poised young actress, but once they got together, when I had to like, except the possibility that they're <laughs> actually going to kiss and maybe have sex too. I'm like, no, no. Like, like the tension of the weirdness of, <laughs> of, of them being in one another's world was a lot of fun. And then once it, it, it crosses a point about halfway through, like it lost me. I, I, I like the fact that, for instance, there's a scene where he sort of challenges her to get through a day without like screens and her assistants and like all of the things that she has around her. And, and for a second you think, oh, is this movie going to be all like judgy about her as a famous woman? But then she turns it around. It's like, all right, fine, I'll do that. But then you have to, you know, she, she has a, a challenge for him to sort of get him out of his comfort zone. And so you kind of see where like he is completely shut off from the world. She is a creature of the world who exists in a, in a completely sort of rarefied version of it. And they both kind of bring out of each other this notion of like, there is a middle point where not only can we meet, but maybe we should, maybe it would be good for both of us to get out of you know, the, the, the circles that we're in. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm laying too much on this. I'm making it sound more heavy than it is. It's a complete goofball thing, but it's lovely. It sounds like you were in the mood for it. Like you, you wanted the escape. Well, I'll tell you, I mean, also, I think this is that low expectation thing. I right. was not expecting much, frankly, um, because I feel like the good Jennifer Lopez movies, it's kind of a Halley's Comet thing, you know, like yeah. Out of Sight was like, what, 1998? And then Hustlers was, you know, a uh, uh, 2019. So mm -hmm. it's like, you know, it's it, 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 usually you got to wait for one. And this one was like, no, I the, she it, it is very much. A, a sort of canny exercise of star power. It is very much, she's playing a version of herself. Totally. But to the film's benefit, I think. Oh, no, she's enormously charming. Like, just try and stop the charisma machine that is Jennifer <laughs> Lopez. You cannot. I wanted to enjoy this, but alas, I'm saying four. All right, I said seven. I, I you know, I, indefensible, but entertaining. All right, 5.5 is our number. Mary Me is out there in theaters, and it's also on Paramount Plus. No, Peacock. I'm sorry. Peacock. The other P. <laughs> <laughs> Marry Me is in theaters and it's on Peacock. <laughs> yes. Uh, so awesome. Thanks for watching, you guys. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click that bell, get all the notifications. Um, follow us at BFast all day on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash BFast all day. We're talking about Boba Fett, which is finally over, and Peacemaker and Gilded Age and Pam and Tommy. It's a lot of fun over there. Uh, that We got uh, uh, surveys going on, lots of cool stuff that you can only do if you are a subscriber become one at patreon.com slash be fast all day thanks for watching happy valentine's day bye, bye.